The second annual churchmilitant.tv Retreat at Sea is coming up in January. This year's theme is about the Catholic Restoration and what you can do to get involved. Click the link for more details. Hello, I'm Michael Miller. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. Here are your latest headlines from churchmilitant.tv news. The National Catholic Reporter, a newspaper known for its progressive slant, has been granted $2.3 million to cover religious sisters, specifically the ongoing conflict between the Vatican and the Leadership Conference of Women Religious, or LCWR. The grant comes from the Conrad N. Hilton Foundation, which aims to create global coverage of issues that affect Catholic nuns. A Wisconsin school district has developed a booklet for parents of elementary students to let them know how teachers will handle sensitive issues such as masturbation and abortion. The booklet covers things such as contraception, sexual identity, and sexual intercourse. A 2012 law has changed the booklet to now include topics of abstinence, marriage, pregnancy and childbirth, and sexually transmitted diseases. In one of his final acts as Supreme Pontiff, Pope Benedict XVI approved the changing of wording in the rite of baptism, which now says, The Church of God welcomes you with great joy, instead of the Christian community. This change was made known through a February 22nd Vatican decree and took effect on March 31st. Bishop Larry Silva of Honolulu has strongly urged Hawaii's Catholics to begin saying a rosary every day for the next few weeks in light of the potential legalization of same-sex marriage. In his letter, Bishop Silva addresses Catholics about the importance of loving homosexuals, along with defining marriages between one man and one woman. He adds that, quote, if same-sex marriage becomes the law of the land, its implications will go far beyond the relationship of this or that of the couple. There will be long-term and definitive changes in our entire culture, end quote. We have attached a link to the full letter on our resource page. On Thursday, the New Mexico Supreme Court ruled that a Christian wedding photographer who refused to photograph a same-sex commitment ceremony because of her Christian beliefs violated the state's human rights law. A director at the Family Research Council commented on the situation, saying, quote, Rather than live and let live, this is forcing religious Americans to violate the basic teachings of their faith or lose their jobs, end quote. A recent poll found that 85% of Americans believe a photo photographer has the right to refuse a same-sex marriage job. I'm Michael Miller. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. Those are headlines from churchmilitant.tv. Make sure you check out today's Vortex, where Michael talks about failure not being an option for the church. Thanks for tuning in today. Spread the word about us to your friends. And may God bless you. Sick of TV and its cultural rot? Tune in to churchmilitant.tv and become a premium subscriber where you will get access to fresh shows with solid church doctrine. As a premium subscriber, you'll get hundreds of hours of programming, which includes investigative shows, catechesis, apologetics, church history lessons, and a lot more. What are you waiting for? Forget the bad television and dive into the riches of the Catholic faith for only $10 a month.